Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd, as well as my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today, I'm going to show you a unique handle. And what this is, is it's going in a circle, but the way that you need to do it is use a non-ergonomic hook. I'm going to demonstrate how it's done first, and then I'm going to show you slow motion. So I'm going to remove my hook, turn, put it into the first one, get the last one over here, and I'm just going to yarn over, pull through. And then I'm going to grab the next one right here. And then I grab the last one. So I end up back with four on the hook. Okay. So what you can do is just turn your work, remove the handle, put it back in, go for the furthest one, pull up the next one going in, pull up, and then the last one in pull up. And what this is doing is actually technically going in a circle, just like you see. And so you end up with just one strand here, and it's a lot stronger than just a chain work and single crochet across. Let me show you how to start one of these. If you're doing this concept for a handle, leave an extra long tail so you can use that to sew it to a bag. Create a slip knot and just chain a total of four. That doesn't count as one. So one, two, three, and four, and let's do row number one. Row number one is gonna be treated like it's Tunisian. You're gonna go on the back hump of the second one from the hook, so this is one, two, get the back hump going in, yarn over, pull through, and move it down the shaft of your hook. Do the next two just the same way. In, yarn over, pull through, shaft it, and then the last one. So you'll end up with only four loops on the hook. To do the next section, just turn it around and pull out the hook because the hook is facing the wrong direction. Pull it out this way, and then you're going to put the hook back into the first one. And I'm just carefully pinching everything with my, my middle finger and my thumb, go to the furthest one away, yarn over, pull through, and then go to the second furthest one away, just in, and this gets much easier once you get more into your hand to hold. So right in the beginning, it's a little tough. And then go into your last one. I find the last one on the very first time we ever do it is always the hardest. So I wanna leave that in this tutorial today. Okay, it's finally through yarn over and pull through. So the first time it's always the hardest because you don't got much to hold on to. Once you have the four, turn your work, slide the handle out, go into the first, go into the last. Yarn over, pull through, go into the second last one, yarn over, pull through, and go into your last one yarn over, pull through. And then you just keep doing that until you get the length that you want. Now, if you're using cotton yarn, cotton does not stretch, but the stitches do. So you wanna be very conscious. So the first one, and you're just gonna go into the last one, yarn over, pull through, just that one. The second one, the furthest away, and then this one. And essentially what you're doing is crocheting in a circle that will spiral effect all its way through. Show you one more time. So into the first, into the last, into the second last. And into the last. And therefore, see, you have these nice ridges, so it's easier to hold on to your bag as well. So you keep going as long as you want. And then when you're ready to finish this thing off at the end, just yarn over, pull through all th all of it, yarn over, pull through one, snip your yarn, and then you are good to go and pull that tight. So when you snip it, make sure it's furthest away here so you have more to add to your bag. So just pull through and pull this one tight, and therefore you can sew this to be a bag handle, just like you see with this one.